in today's video we'll be discussing the next topic of flow through pipes which is power transmission through pipes talking about the power transmission then power will be transmitted by liquid which is flowing through the pipes and why are we using power transmission then one is to convey the water from a high level reservoir to a turbine house then it can be used in the operation of the hydraulic equipments such as hydraulic press crane jack etc so these are the uses of power transmission through the pipes the power that is transmitted will depend upon two things one is weight of the liquid which is flowing through the pipe and another one is the total head that is available at the end of the pipe the power transmitted depends upon two things which is weight of the liquid flowing through the pipe and the second one is the head available at the end of the pipe i'll just draw a diagram in which we are having a pipe ab this is my pipe and it is connected to a tank now we need to find the power which is available at the end b of the pipe here h is the total head available at the inlet of the pipe then l is the length of the pipe d is the diameter of the pipe v is the velocity of flow in the pipe and hf is the head loss due to friction and coefficient of friction which we denote it by f first of all the head available at the outlet of the pipe will be will be neglecting the minor losses the minor losses are neglected and now we'll write the equation for head available at the outlet of the pipe which will be equal to it is very much simple the total head at the inlet minus head loss due to friction now i have already told you that the total head at the inlet is h and what is the head loss due to friction it is hf so this will be h minus hf and hf we know the equation 4 flv square by 2g d then talking about the weight of water which is flowing through the pipe per second then we already know that weight is given by rho vg and if we write it per second then it will be rho vg by t here i'll write it separately rho vg divided by t and this v by t is equal to the discharge and discharge is given by area into velocity here we'll just write that in place of v by t it will be area into velocity so that is weight of water flowing through pipe per second is rho g area into velocity area is pi by 4 d square and velocity we denote it with v then the power transmitted at the outlet of the pipe which we wanted to find that will be equal to the weight of water per second into head at the outlet now what is the weight of water per second that we have found and the head at the outlet that also we have found we'll just substitute it here that will be equal to rho g pi by 4 d square into v into h minus 4 flv square by 2 g d this we'll get it in watts and if we want it in kilowatt we just need to divide this equation by 
that is it will become rho g by thousand pi by four d square into v into h minus four f l b square by two g d. The next thing that we want to derive is efficiency of power transmission. How do we find the efficiency? Then it is denoted by the symbol eta, and it is the ratio of power available at the outlet of the pipe to the power supplied at the inlet of the pipe. Here we'll just write that eta is equal to power available at the outlet of the pipe divided by power that is supplied at the inlet of the pipe. That will be equal to power is given by weight of water per second into the head available in the numerator it will be weight of water per second into head available at outlet and in the denominator it will be weight of water per second into head available at inlet or we can say the head at the inlet and this is equal to w into head available at outlet we have already found which is h minus hf and the head at the inlet we had denoted it using symbol h so it is w into h minus hf upon w into h w will get cancelled this is the equation for efficiency of power transmission now we'll derive the condition for maximum transmission of power for that we'll use this equation and we'll differentiate it with respect to velocity writing here dp by dv is equal to zero we'll equate it to zero d by dv the equation is rho g pi by 4 d square we am multiplying inside the bracket v into h minus v into 4 f l v square by 2 g d it will be 4 f l v cube by 2 g d is equal to 0 on differentiating this with respect to v will get rho g pi d square by 4 into h minus this 4 f l v cube it will be 3 into 4 f l v square by 2 g d then when we'll multiply and divide this with 0 it will become 0 so we'll be left with h minus 3 into 4 f l v square by 2 g d is equal to 0 this 4 f l v square by 2 g d is h f so it will be h minus 3 h f is equal to 0 which is h is equal to 3 h f or we can say h f is equal to h by 3. This equation is the condition for maximum transmission of power as per which power transmitted through a pipe is maximum when the loss of head due to friction is one third of the total head at the inlet that is h f is equal to h by 3. Now we'll be deriving one more equation which is for the maximum efficiency of the transmission of power. We have already derived the equation for efficiency of power transmission but here in place of hf we'll be placing the condition for maximum transmission of power which is hf is equal to h by 3. This will become h minus h by 3 upon h. On taking h common it will be removed and will be left with 1 minus 1 by 3 upon 1 which is 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3 that is writing it in percentage it will be 66.7 percent this is the maximum efficiency of the power transmission eta max is equal to 66.7 percent so we found the equation for power transmitted at the outlet of the pipe then the efficiency of the power transmission then the condition for the maximum transmission of power and then maximum efficiency of the power transmission. Thank you.